Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday, Thanksgiving week, 24 November. Holy Christ, look at this uh, risk on market. Trump sort of conceded last night, but then he didn't really concede, but he's given Biden access um, to the interesting pieces of the government for transition. Um, plus, Janet Yellen's going to be Treasury Secretary, which is sort of dovish, I guess we could consider that dovish. Um, combination of these two things, plus the market was short, as were we. Uh, everyone got stopped. Bang. So let's look at this. Where was this? This was midnight, so an hour after the close. Into the Tokyo Open. Um, bang. 97 paid. Now here we are. Trading up at 05. Um, are we going to get up to 20, 30, 40? Gee, kind of looks like it, um, but we'll see. Anyway, bygones, uh, we're square again. We were short some Aussie end last night. We stopped out through this line here. Um, so we'll live to fight another day, of course. Let's stop looking backwards and start looking forwards here uh, yesterday we were talking about bearish engulfing in Aussie seems hard to believe uh, 7266 held like a rock um, I don't even want to say it this reminds me of uh, the gold level at uh, 1850 we talked about it talked about it talked about it it resisted 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 uh, here we are again talking about it, 70, 7340, that's your bingo number in Aussie. Uh, are we going to trade today with S&Ps, basically 60 handles off the highs? Gee, you wouldn't be surprised if we did trade that today, so keep your eye on 7340. Let's talk about Euro, we bought up through 90 um, yesterday. No drama, right? Because we had stop was in the right place on the way back down, back through 90. Toyed around up there between uh, 95 and 05, but couldn't really get a grip on things. Kind of a doji day. It looked very, very bearish, but then we climbed back. Here we are at 50. Not sure what to make of it. The only thing that I can make of it is this trend line held again, this 10-year trend line. When that breaks, it'll be very interesting if it breaks. One day it'll break. Um, now down at 119.42. The double top is at 21. Kind of looks like that's going to happen this year, but, but who knows. Cable. Just rat fucked everybody. Holy shit. Broke 12 in Asia. All the way up to 98. Bang. Bang, bang, bang. 132.63. How you like them apples? Every CTA in the world got fucked. Um, you know, they enter at 12. They're leaving 30 pointers. 82 stop. Some of them wished and prayed for it to be over 64 given at the fix bang <sighs> Sodom and Gomorrah ay 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 hard to stay long cable isn't it um, going forward we're right in the middle here not really sure what to do don't mean to be talking about yesterday because we got to talk about today Let's go to Euro Sterling. That level held, and that looks more interesting. This 61 level is, uh, let's go to the dailies. Pretty interesting now. One, two, three, four. Yesterday was 66. Interesting stuff down there. Uh, is Euro Sterling going to get plundered? Probably. Um, 
but it all depends on Brexit really so if you're a Brexit news watcher this is a level you need to watch uh, 8860 Kiwi we had some positive news overnight uh, I don't even know what it was it was about some sort of adding the housing to CPI index I don't even know um, mainly just stops got rammed uh, so everyone got short, put their stops above this 69.67, hoping for the 03, close below 03. Didn't get it. Bang, risk on. This is uh, the Biden news. Wow, 70 points on that news, 60 points on that news. Ay, 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 crazy town, right? Um... Kiwi looks pretty robust here, right? Doji, close above. Oddly, feels uncomfortable, but you can probably be long Kiwi. Let's go to gold. Finally broke through 50 yesterday. We talked about it midday. We're like, ooh, this looks a bit wobbly, doesn't it? Feels a bit wobbly. Had this big hour from 65 down to 35 and then has just continued. Uh, gold is now in the buy zone, right? You got this support here coming up from the, these levels. So between 90 and 10, 20 really. Should be some consolidation here. And you might be able to buy gold. Um, a lot of the uh, comfortable longs have now stopped out surely. Although I did notice that the JP Morgan guys bought some more yesterday at 40. Um, I don't follow them super closely in what they think because I don't give a rat's ass what they think. But the fact that they bought probably means there's a little bit more pain to go down here. Um, and this won't be straightforward reversal. So careful on your longs. Perhaps you want to sell some puts to start, uh, and then you can maybe build longs as we get back through 1850. I don't know. I, I'm not really going to play this on the long side. I'm just thinking out loud. Um, but anyway, we got what we wanted yesterday. That worked out pretty well. Uh, and now we'll see if this holds at this support. If it doesn't, it could easily uh, get down. I don't think we're actually going to get below 90. 1790 uh, but we'll see a lot will depend on what the general dollar does today so keep an eye on that yes talked about it bang uh, man she looked offered at 49 given yesterday didn't she holy Christ Trading up at 04 now. Not sure what to do with that. ZB never really got up to our uh, key little trend line up here. This thing stopped. Yeah. Like a bitch in heat up there, right? Dogs fighting and screwing around. 174.10 topped it out. Gotta be short this thing. We're not short at the moment. Got some lonely offers up there. Bearish engulfed yesterday. I'll have to see. I'll have to see where what we're going to do with this. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere, so we're kind of just watching on the sidelines, but we like ZB lower. Bitcoin. Holding up. It's holding up up here. We'll have to see how she does. Um, kind of a doji esque day yesterday. Down through 18,000 looks like trouble, but also up through 19,000 looks like bliss. So, I don't know. You want to be core long Bitcoin, as we've spoken about. You might as well lighten up up here, right? We're up over 100% on the year. Um, just makes sense from every risk metric that I've ever followed uh, to lighten up up here. Anyway, no real data today. Uh, nothing nothing really uh, of note um, 
I don't even know how this works on this thing. November 16th, we don't really need that. Um, like I said, no real data. 21. We got German GDP, nobody cares. Business climate's out of France, nobody cares. IFO, hmm, people kind of care, but not really. Case Schiller today. Um, as you can see, all secondary, secondary releases. Consumer confidence, a few seven-year auctions. Um, not much going on. So, we're basically focusing on ES and whether we're going to be risk on or not. We're watching this Aussie level 73.40. We're going to see if gold turns down here. We're looking for turn bars in gold. Um, and I think we just kind of want to be short dollars. Big washout yesterday. Um, maybe these, maybe these currency pairs float back up. Would that be a would that be a fuck job or what? Yes, ma'am, that would be. Um, wow. So anyway, big focus on the Aussie level. Uh, we'll have to see what the dollar does in general, um, and that'll probably be based on uh, ES price action. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.